there's something about YouTube that's unique. And I think that even though YouTube has majority content that comes from institutions, most people think of it as a democratic space. That YouTube is a free space, that it's a safe space, that it's an anonymous space. And you don't have to be particularly qualified. Nobody asks you for your qualifications to put something up on YouTube. But if you want to comment on HuffPo or TruthDig, I mean, they need your entire background for information. And they monitor your comments before they post them on more formal blog sites. So YouTube is immediate, it's interactionary, and the American people really like it. But then the question becomes, yes, we're talking about the healthcare debates. All of these texts are about the healthcare debates, but we're not talking about healthcare. So what does that mean? In my opinion, it means that we still have unheard and unresolved conversations about race that people are dying to have in our country. And that healthcare is just an excuse. It's just an excuse for people to say the things that they've been thinking and meaning to say for a really long time. Perhaps they were afraid to say it before because people, well, let's put it this way. Let's put post-race in the middle, right? Let's put post-race in the middle of American history. People on this side of history were afraid to say racist things because we weren't post-race yet. If you said racist things and all we had were white CEOs and white presidents, then that would really mean that you were a racist. After we're post-race, and it doesn't really matter anymore, and as long as you're qualified, it doesn't matter what your color is, well, I guess I can't really say race things anymore because we're post-race, we're done with that. We're not supposed to have those prejudices anymore. It's a catch-22. With post-race dead in the middle, people never really had a space to say the things about race that they really wanted to say. So healthcare becomes the excuse for us to sort of like wiggle the line a little bit, to tow it, to be on one side at one point, another side at another point. For me, it also says that there's no way we can possibly be post-race, because we got a whole lot of stuff, clearly, that we haven't talked about yet. So here's what I propose we do about. Whether we dig Obama and his policies or not, he's forcing this country to have conversations about race that we haven't had in a long time. I say, let's participate in it. Participate in them. And let's work towards conversations about race. Let's work towards that post-racial society instead of prematurely declaring that we have one just because we have a black president.